So we're loading this truck on first. It's got a 180 inch wheelbase. It's nine feet, seven inches to the top of those horns tall. So we're loading it backwards. What you gotta watch out for is this tank is only 12 inches off the ground. So you gotta make sure you don't hit it on this uh, pivot point right here. All right, we're loading on this one first. We're backing it in. We gotta be careful of the tanks. They're only about 12 inches off the ground. So this first apex, you gotta be real careful not to dent the tanks. These tanks are about 26 inches wide, but you gotta get only about 12 inches off the ground. This truck has a 180 inch wheelbase. It's nine feet, seven inches from the ground to the top of the horn. We had to take the stack off to get it under height. The trailer's about 36 inches tall. So that gets you under that 15 feet. This is a critical point right here. Make sure not to hit the tanks on that pivot point. The back of the cab to center trending on this truck is 107 inches. So we're cutting it real close. Scraping those tanks, it just makes it. Once again, those tanks are only about 12 inches off the ground. Now for the second truck, we're pulling it on forward. This has a 199 inch wheelbase. These tanks are 26 inches, but they're about 13 inches off the ground, so we should have some clearance for that critical point. So you gotta get those rear wheels onto that first part of the trailer so you can lift it the rest of the way up. So 
This one's 122 inches back of cab to center trunnion. Those tanks cleared this a little better because they're a little higher up. They're 13 inches off the ground. Now he's going to flip it all up and fold it under. You gotta leave a little room between the two trucks so when we flip up the tail, it's gonna push it a little farther together. Let me put a wheel chop. Yeah, I'm watching, I'm watching. Keep going. Keep going. You probably flip that down now. <laughs> There you go, There's two trucks loaded. We got about 12 inches overhang on the rear. There's about eight inches in between the noses of the truck. We got four inches overhang on the rear.